Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Mom in the Mitten. My name is Chantel, and today I'm going to be organizing a brand new storage cabinet that I'm going to be using to store my two daughters' plates, bowls, silverware, and maybe some snacks as well. So if you're interested in watching me organize this right behind me, then go ahead and stick around. Thanks. Here is a look at what the storage cabinet looks like all just empty. Uh, my husband put it together. It was uh, from Amazon. It didn't take too long. It was really good quality. It has this like really nice farmhouse style. It has these farmhouse doors that can be, you know, moved, adjusted, sliding across. So inside each there are two shelves. So we got that one and then that one. So realistically, I have six shelves here, and then this last one, and then up top, three drawers. So there's one, two, and three. So three drawers, and then three like double shelves. So here, this is where I have already took all the brand new things that my daughters got for Christmas, like all these new plates, bowls, and then everything else that we kind of already have had. So I have some bowls, plates, and then I have just a bunch of like silverware here. I also have these Dollar Tree bins. I have a bunch more down here that I'm going to be going through. If you saw my pantry organization, I... I'm still using these same kind of like farmhousey ones. I feel like it's going to look really nice with the storage cabinet. So I'm going to be working with those, trying to organize all of this. And then I'm going to probably throw some snacks in there that Olivia will be able to just kind of grab and go on her own, trying to give her a little bit more independence. So I might put some like goldfish and I don't know, maybe applesauce or something that she can easily get to grab and enjoy all on her own. So here's this again, and I'm going to figure out how I want to organize it.
what I ended up with. So here is the final view of what this storage pantry looks like. I'm gonna show you into the shelves and the drawers. So in this first one, it's just empty. I may or may not decide to put like baby bottles in here for Kelsey. But as of right now, I'm just kind of leaving them empty and we'll kind of grow into them. Then in this center one, I have silverware. So I have like baby spoons and then Olivia's spoons and forks and knives. And I love that these Dollar Tree storage containers fit in perfectly nice like two of them side by side and then over here this last one I just put these little bottle grippers that Kelsey got for Christmas from my sister so those are there again I may or may not put in some more like bottles or sippy cups eventually or what have you so we'll just kind of see what happens with that then down here to the first shelf so something I couldn't figure out if I wanted to keep the center one open or if I wanted to have it shut. When I originally just was kind of showing, I had it a little bit different. But this is the center one. So here's where Olivia is going to be able to grab whatever snacks she needs to get. So here in this bin I have some applesauces, some little cookies, and then two little Dollar Tree snack containers of goldfish. On this bottom one, I just have some apples and some Easy Peel mandarins, so she'll be able to grab whatever she wants from here throughout the day. Then in this one, to the left, I just put the plates. So these are some of the new plates that Olivia got for Christmas that just have those really nice grip silicone feet on the bottom. These are going to be really nice for Kelsey too when she gets into food so she can't throw the plates all onto the floor. And then down here are some of Olivia's like bigger plates. These are ones that we've already had. These are all from Target. I think they're like 50 cents or a dollar or something. So we have two of those larger dinner plates. And then this one that has like the three dividers similar to what these are up here. However, there's no grips on the bottom. But this is fine for Olivia because she's not throwing her plates. And then she has this little bunny one also from Target. Just with a little divider so she can use that. She's already had all of those so she'll be happy to see her stuff in there. And then on this opposite side, let's move that, move that. Over here we have bowls. So she's got those straw bowls back there that she usually uses for like cereal and then some more like grippy bottom um, bowls I just kind of nested them so they took up less space even though I have a pretty decent amount of space still in here that'll be able to store more stuff then this is a little to-go bowl with a lid that Kelsey got for Christmas from my mom and then a couple more of those same like bowls. This one is clearly the ones that we've already been using. Those ones are new ones that my sister got for Kelsey for Christmas. And then down here I have those bowls that are like the take and toss bowls which are really nice. They all have lids and you can just bring them with you on the go or keep them at home. If you want you can also just throw them away because they're not too expensive. So I got a bunch of those bowls and the lids so yeah that is what it ended up looking like I'm excited to be able to see how Olivia will work um, independently getting all her things so here's a nice little overview shot I really like how it looks I think what I'm also gonna do with the top is we have a you can hear Kelsey in the background. Um, but in the back of, like, behind this, there's a an outlet. So I got, for Christmas, one of those digital photo frames. So I would really like to be able to hook that and kind of, like, set that up there so I can see pictures of my family throughout, you know, the day when I'm in the kitchen. I feel like that'll be a really good spot for that. Since it's clear space up there, I'm not going to put a bunch of stuff up there. 
So I'm excited to see how that will turn out later, eventually when I get that. Um, and then here's just some of the empty containers that I still haven't used. However, I will probably end up using them in another organization video. So go ahead and stick around. I'm going to maybe see if I can get a shot of Olivia kind of like looking at this all when she wakes up from her nap. So we'll see if I can get that and then I will see how it works. If it's actually functional for her, for me, for everybody. All right. Close that one. Very good. Let's see all the plates. Hey, a purple plate. Yeah. Bunny plate. Hey, all these plates. Are they for Tulsi or me? They're for both of you. Those ones will probably be for Kelsey though because they're suction cup on the bottom, so that means that they won't spill. Those ones are yours. You excited? I'm excited to eat food. Do you want to grab a snack? <coughs> Where are your snacks? Here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's snacks. What snacks there's do you snacks want? In here. That snack? Yeah. I'm trying to show daddy. Alright, show me how happy you are. Alright, so that is how I organize my storage cabinet with all of my daughter's plates and bowls and silverware and her snacks. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. If you have any tips or tricks, please go ahead and leave me a comment. I would love to read that. And thank you so much. Thanks. Bye.